Welcome back everyone. My name is Matthias and in this brief video I am going to give you an overview of support of spatial data in the SAP ecosystem. First of all you may have the question um, why we talk about spatial data in SAP anyway. SAP is not a GS company and to my knowledge um, we have no aspiration of being one. But spatial data as such is part of our multi-model data concept. So as in real life, your data is multi-model. Um, big portions of it is relational, but also there's spatial data, there's graph data, or there may be semi-structured semi -structured document data. I like to compare that to food, like where you have different ingredients. You may have meat, vegetables, spices. Every different ingredient of your food needs to be cooked and prepared differently, and there's a special processing attached to it. So usually if you go to a restaurant, the chef takes care of all of that. And at the end of the day, you as a consumer, you just get your delicious meal, you eat it, it's tasty. And ultimately you don't have to care about the processing of the different ingredients. And this is the very same thing with data. So let's look at it from the perspective of spatial data in the SAP ecosystem. Um, our foundation in this case is SAP HANA with its core engines. So we have the spatial engine, the document gra engine, graph engine, uh, the predictive libraries, which all somehow is in that concept of multi-model data. Um, on a database level, you might have your uh, business database, like from ERP system, and your enterprise geo database, where your GIS department works with. Your data can be augmented by third-party spatial data, like for example weather data, using HANA spatial services. Also, you're able to connect your classical ERP software, uh, your analytics software, custom applications, as well as your GIS software, like um, ArcGIS or other GIS software, to that platform. In the following few minutes, we just dig into a few of the details that you see on that slide. First of all, let's look at the spatial core engine that we have in SAP HANA. We offer support for spatial vector data, which is 2D, 3D or 4D data types. Um, on a database level, we have more than 100 SQL-based geospatial functions for processing that data and doing spatial analytics. SAP HANA as such is OGC compliant. OGC st stands for Open Geospatial Consortium. This means that the interface that you find in HANA on an SQL level um, is well defined by OGC standards and it actually looks similar to other geo databases that you may be familiar with. Also, SAP HANA is an ESRI certified geo database. This means that you can run your ESRI software such as ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Portal, or ArcGIS insights on top of SAP HANA. And SAP HANA can be used to establish an enterprise geo database by the ESRI software. SAP HANA is certified on-premise and in the cloud, be it HANA as a service or our new product HANA Cloud for usage with ESRI software. To integrate your GIS software, such as Azure ArcGIS, with your ERP system, you can use the Geographical Enablement Framework. It builds the bridge on an application layer between the ERP and the GIS platform. On top of that, it offers simple, intuitive and map-based navigation through your business data. Once you have your GIS data and your business data in the SAP HANA data platform, you can use SAP Analytics Cloud to do analytics based on that data. I brought some examples with me of geospatial analytics that is supported by SAP Analytics Cloud. You can create bubble layers, point of interest layers, heat maps, choropaths, feature layers um, using ESRI data, 
and also flow layers like you see here in the lower, lower right corner. The geospatial data can thus be prepared for the business user to make the geospatial dimension better understandable on a dashboard level. If you want to incorporate third-party spatial data, such as weather data, there is the cloud service HANA Spatial Services. HANA Spatial Services builds the bridge between that third-party data and the SAP ecosystem. So it is a service on the cloud platform, which is able to integrate, for example, drone imagery, satellite imagery, also third-party vector data, location services such as geocoding or routing uh, with your business data. For that, HANA Spatial Services works with partners like HERE or ESRI to actually license that data for you. If your GIS department is not working with ESRI software, there's also support for other GIS software. SAP HANA has support for GeoServer as middleware. GeoServer is an open source software that connects to SAP HANA and provides web services for the spatial data to be consumed by other applications. Also, SAP HANA is already supported by DBiver, which is a platform independent database management studio with excellent spatial data support. Some of you who are familiar with GIS development may already know that software. In future, we also plan native support for QGIS as well as for OGR to OGR to connect even further data sources. Thank you for listening. In my next video, I will deep dive into the details of HANA's geospatial processing engine.